Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss CSS box model. It is one of the most important concept to understand. Box model, if you understand clearly, then you can be able to create more flexible and manageable web page layouts. So let's get started. You can imagine every HTML element as one box, which is meant to hold a content. The amount of space required to display the content is actually known as content area. And the space around the content that you see here is known as padding. You can independently control left padding, top padding, right padding and bottom padding. Or you can at a time set the padding around the content. So you can imagine like padding is a space around the content. You can set border to HTML element. You can see a border is going to be set around the padding or the content. You can independently set the border, top border, right border, bottom border or left border or you can at a time set the border for the whole element. And the space around the border you see here that is actually known as margin area. You can independently set left margin top margin, right margin, bottom margin or you can set at a time a margin around the border or element. I am going to demonstrate it so that you people can clearly understand which one is the content area, which one is the padding, which one is the border, what is margin etc. So let's get started. I go to start, say notepad, hit enter. Then I write here opening HTML, closing HTML and then I write opening head, closing head. Then I write opening body and closing body tag. In between the head section, I am going to write opening title tag and there I say box model demo, closing title tag. File, save as. I save the file with the name as box model demo dot HTML. Both sides I put double quotations and save the file at desktop. You can see that the box model demo.html page got created. I right click on it, open with the Firefox. You can see here box model demo.html page got opened and title is set as box model demo. You can understand it something like this. You can think like body as one box. Inside that, I am going to create another box that is going to be a div element, a closing div. We know that div is a paid tag and it is a block level tag. Inside that we can put some content or we can add some other HTML element. At present I have a content. I am going to copy that content. Okay. I copy this content from here and paste it in the div. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that div has displayed the content on the browser window and we know that div takes the entire available width. Let's proceed further. To prove that div is a box or every HTML element is a box, I am going to take help of CSS. So I write opening style tag and a closing style tag in the head section and I say type is equal to text or CSS. To indicate that whatever we write in between these style tags is going to be text or a CSS. And then I tell to the system locate every div element in this current page and set the background color to pink color. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that the div element has the background color set to pink, quite simple. Then I am going to set the font size, font dash SIZ font size I set to 18 PT semicolon. File, save, go to browser. If I refresh, what happens means the font size of the content which is available in the div is going to be increased to 18 point. Of course, if I increase the font size, definitely the content size increases. If the content size get increases, automatically the div element size also gets changes. Let's see that. If I refresh, you can see that now the content got displayed in a larger size and also you can carefully observe that the height of the div element is increased than before, right? Now we proceed further. Then I set here text text align align to I say justify justify semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see the paragraph is actually justified or the content in the div is actually justified good now we need to understand one of the most important thing is if you do not have a padding around the width of the div element is actually equal to the width of the content let me discuss here. If I say here WIDTH width of the div should be 400 pixels. Actually what this width 
property does it sets the width of the content it sets the width of this content is going to be 400 pixels if we change the width of the content to 400 pixels what happens we understand file save go to browser if i refresh you can see that the width of the content is set to 400 pixels and you can see automatically the content is moved to the next line and now the height is increased as the height of the content increased you can also observe the div element width and height changed the div element width also set to 400 pixel and height is set to according to the content height this is most important thing to understand guys let me explain here if i say here height h e i g h t height of the content to 400 pixels then the height of the div is also going to be set to 400 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see automatically the div height also gets increases do not think that content is only this much height content actually has 400 height it is up to here so it is not necessary that i need to mention the height let the system calculate the height so we need not worry about the height file save go to browser and refresh so you can see the height is now automatically calculated by the system itself now we proceed further and understand hope you guys have understood what is width width indicates the content wide the amount of space taken by the content to get display on the browser window okay next we proceed and understand the padding padding indicates the space around the content to make it good looking if you want to give appealing look then you can add padding around the content for example now uh, what i do is i add a padding let's take i add a padding p a d d i n g padding dash l e f t left padding left adds a space on the left hand side of the content so padding left i give 20 pixels if i say like that file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got a left padding there is a space between content and the border of the div element and also you can see the width of the div is increasing but the content width is not increasing content is 400 pixels only but the width of the div element is increased to 420 pixels actually i can add one more padding to the right p a d d i n g padding r i g h t right i can say 20 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see on the right hand side we have added padding now actual width of the div element is 440 pixels because width of the content is 400 plus left padding 20 so 420 plus right padding 20 440 is going to be the width of this whole development on the browser window we can set padding top p a d d i n g padding t o p top is also 20 pixels and i can say here p a d d i n g padding b o t t m bottom 20 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see we have padding of 20 pixel around the content that is actually padding i hope you guys have understood padding indicates the space around the content that is actually transparent actually okay instead of writing like this at a time we can set we can say here p a d d i n g padding 20 pixels if we write like this automatically browser sets the padding left padding right padding top and padding bottom as 20 20 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see that there is no change remember that width indicate the width of the content not the width of the complete development next thing we understand is uh, what is border so we are going to understand the border now we can apply the border we can apply border also independently if we want so we can say here border dash top we can say here border top is going to be of uh, maybe 10 pixels or we can say 20 pixels and it is going to be solid b l a c k black color b l a c k black color semicolon if i say like that file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border is set of 20 pixels at top similarly i can copy this and paste it down to say border left we say file save go to browser and refresh you can see border left is added similarly i can copy that and say border right i can set r i g h t right file save go to browser and refresh so right border is added similarly i can copy that and paste it down it is going to be border b o t t o m bottom i say file save go to browser and refresh so now you are understanding right so the, here we have a content area we have a padding around and we have a border around you should understand now what is actually width of this complete development 400 pixels plus left padding 20 and border left 
20. So 440 plus 40. So it is going to be 480 is the complete width of the div element guys. But content width is 400 pixels. Let's proceed further and understand. Instead of writing like this, what we can do is we can simply write B O R D E R border is going to be 20 pixels solid B L A C K black color. So I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. Need no change. You can see that it automatically sets border left, border right, border bottom, border top to 20 pixels solid black. Hope you guys have understood. Next thing we need to understand is what is margin. So as I told, margin is the space around the border or space around the element itself. Now let's talk about that. Here I am going to say M A R G I N margin dash L E F T left is going to be maybe 50 pixels if I say what happens means we are adding a margin outside the element here. If I refresh you can see that we have a margin of 50 pixels from the body element border. So similarly I can copy that and paste it and say here margin top margin top if I say 50 pixel and say file save go to browser and refresh we have a top margin also added you can see here if I say here I am telling the right right margin is also 50 pixels if I say file save go to browser and refresh actually it has put some margin here we don't see because we don't have any content to be displayed are you understanding for example I can add a margin I copy this and say margin barum also 50 pixels margin b o t t o m barum 50 pixels file save go to browser and refresh actually here we have a margin bottom guys here we have a margin bottom set as we do not have a content we cannot uh, observe that one so for this tutorial this much is enough friends hope you guys have understood uh, what is box model and how it works uh, whenever you are calculating the width of an element you need to add a margin left size plus border left plus padding left plus content width plus right margin plus right border size plus right padding height also same thing if you are calculating the height of uh, an element occupied by it on the browser you have to add all these things top margin plus top padding plus top border size plus height of the content plus bottom padding size plus bottom border size plus bottom margin size if you add all those together you get the height occupied by that element on the browser so I suggest you to watch this video again and again and understand the box model clearly for more benefits Please subscribe and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.